Well, hello everyone, my name is Tim and uh, welcome to my uh, workbench and uh, today I have something very interesting to uh, show you and it is this beautiful uh, Sansui SR929 uh, quartz servo direct drive turntable. Uh, this thing is absolutely massive. It uh, weighs a ton. Uh, I think this weighs even more than the Kenwood Rock because this is a very similar kind of uh, uh, plinth on these. Uh, piano finish, black piano finish. It's been sitting in a box for nigh on 20 some years. I'm told. This is actually a friend brought this over and uh, wanted me to uh, assess it for his dad. This is his, this is his dad's turntable and uh, he wants to probably uh, I think sell it at some point but I said I'd first make sure it's all functional and everything. So uh, I've literally just unboxed it. It came in this little box here. It doesn't have the original uh, packing material inside but uh, uh, it does have uh, four feet, screw-on feet, that are on the bottom here that are completely adjustable. So I've got them uh, at the midpoint on them. And, uh, yeah, really, really solidly well-built uh, turntable, i got to say. Um, I'm very, uh, very intrigued by it. Uh, the only flaw that I can see on it is a little bit of a nick uh, in the finish right here. Uh, that You can see it's down to the, uh, the base material there. Um, what I think I could do is get a, a nice high gloss uh, fingernail polish and uh, fill that in and it'll make it uh, look a lot, lot better. But I mean from any distance away you don't even see it. Uh, the um, dust cover is intact. Like I say, it's been sitting in his basement probably for 25 or so years. I don't think they used it much. Uh, arm looks like it's in really good shape. It looks like it has all little small little cables, but uh, you know, I, I'm not familiar with the turntable, so I'm going to go down and uh, go and download the service manual and the uh, and the uh, user manual and uh, basically see what. Uh, basically see what um, I can do to this thing to uh, make it perform like new. Uh, obviously they didn't know how to set up the cartridge because they didn't have any, uh, I don't think the overhang was set up properly. Um, so uh, it's got a Empire cartridge in it. I think they uh, didn't spend a lot of money on the cartridge but uh, I'll, I'll look that one up as well, find out the model and everything. And uh, probably doesn't have a lot of hours on it. And I did run it up for power, so we've got power. I've got the quartz uh, servo button depressed, so when I'm on 33, you can see the, uh, the indicator there that it's on 33. And if you look at the strobe, I can get it at the right angle here. We're in kind of uh, sunlight. I'm going to set this thing up inside where it's out of the direct sunlight. I just wanted to show it in sunlight just because it's hard to uh, photograph things that are uh, uh, black or piano black finished. So you can see that the, uh, the speed is rock solid on the quartz servo and uh, that's 33 and if I switch to 45, same thing, it just jumps right to uh, solid speed. Uh, heavy, heavy platter, um, heavy, heavy plinth. If I turn the, the servo off, it doesn't move anything and you've got a pitch control so you can uh, adjust it manually if you... Uh, if you uh, wanted to do that, like a DJ would. Um, but this is not a DJ turntable. This is a, a very sophisticated, um, high-end uh, home turntable. Um, I would reckon from the mid-70s, but uh, mid to late 70s. Uh, but I will look it all up. And uh, like I say, I'm just looking at it for the first time and I thought I would, I would uh, just make a quick, uh, a quick video of it. And then uh, we'll go through and tune it up once I uh, get the manuals and, uh, and uh, see how she sounds. Plug it into one of my main systems in the house and we'll play it from there. Uh, with the dust cover, it's, like I say, it's intact. There are a few minor scuffs and scratches as one would expect for something this old. Uh, however, there's nothing, no deep gouges or anything. So what I'll do is I'll use McGuire's... Um, a headlight polish kit that I use for turntables and that'll buff that thing up to uh, just about new and uh, 
get rid of all you know some of the scuffs and everything on it there's really no deep gouges or just like really faint faint little uh, marks or whatever so that'll that'll buff out really really well I think um, there's the label on the top Sansui Electric Company Limited and once again the model quartz servo direct drive turntable SR 929 there's the uh, the tone arm assembly which is a one point knife edge support P1280 is what it's called and you can see all the weights and everything appear to be present and uh, I haven't even balanced it so uh, I haven't even done a, uh, uh, a proper setup of the cartridge or anything I want to get the overhang distance and uh, uh, get a proper template and set everything up uh, accordingly so uh, more to follow um, hope I, what I may do is put an audio karma site up and uh, and go through this as I as I tune it up so uh, we'll see you in the next video